everyone and welcome back to another opening on the Pokecard channel. Today I'll be opening up a red Genesect collection box. This box retails for about $19.99 and it contains a 60 foil Pokemon card a red Genesect theme deck. And it's kind of cool that all the cards in the deck are foil. And here is the list of cards that are in that deck. It's a pretty nice listing. Um, you also get two booster packs, looks like uh, Plasma Freeze and Plasma Storm, and a red Genesect pin. Now, this does normally come foil wrapped. I took it out of the foil just so I can put all the cards in the green deck in order so I wouldn't be flipping through the same cards multiple times. So, let's see what we get in this box. So here is the Genesect promo. And it's black and white promo number 99, and you actually get two of these because there's also one inside the um, theme deck itself. There are two packs. Save those for later. This is the deck box. It's got a little bit of a shininess to it, like a holographic. And the back has Genesect, a red Genesect. Um, it's kind of sad that it's only this thick, so you can't really sleeve the cards, which is a shame because they are all shiny. Um, you get some damage counters. Also get, I thought this was really cool. Um, it kind of goes over what is in this deck and how to play each card or ideas of how to change cards out, um, which is pretty neat. Um, so if you get one of these, make sure you read through this. Um, I did read through and I thought it was pretty cool how they give you ideas of which cards you should be using when. And on the back here, it also gives you ideas as to which cards you might want to add to this deck if you're lucky enough to pull them. So if you're uh, new to playing and you want a pretty good deck to play with, I think this is a great set to buy. Especially only for 20 bucks. Um, and this is a um, like a playing mat. It stretches out to be pretty big, so I'm not going to open the whole thing up. And in here, you also get two more things. Looks like a coin. Kind of a big coin. It's a red Genesect coin. There he is. In the back is a Pokemon logo. And you also get this pretty cool looking pin. It's a red Genesect. It almost looks like a maroon pink. But on the back here, I don't think you can make it out, but it does say official pin, Pokemon official pin. So that's kind of neat. I don't think it's going to stand, but I can put it back there. And I'll zoom in and go through the cards. So once again, this was the promo card that was in the front. Black and white 99. Can't believe there are that many cards in the black and white promo set, but number 99. Genesect. Um, pretty cool card. For two of any kind of energy, you flip a coin. If heads, you discard an energy attached to defending Pokemon, and you do 30 damage. And um, Breaker Bazooka is pretty good, too, for 100 damage. But you do have to discard all uh, grass energies, so kind of a bummer there. Alright, so it is a grass psychic deck, surprise, surprise, um, but what's kind of cool, because all cards are shiny, that includes the energies. So this is a, actually it's a holographic energy I've not seen yet printed. It's got a copyright at the bottom of 2011, and it's just a shiny energy, and you get a couple of them. Actually, do I have the list still? easier just to read it off the list. You get eight grass energies. So pretty neat. I might actually get a second one of these just so I can have more of these shiny energies because they are very, very pretty. And then you get eight psychic energies. Once again, the copyright at the bottom is 2011. It's a very nice shiny energy. And there's eight of those. And then let's get into some of the trainers because I think they're pretty interesting choices. Um, you get two cylinders, and like I said, all of the cards in this set are reverse holographic, so they are the ones that you would find um, in the sets themselves. There's nothing different about that. They're just all reverse holographic. So you get two of these cylinders, which let you search your deck for three basic energy cards um, and put them in your hand. And very useful to get some energies out. Always good in a theme deck. Sharon, um, two of those. It's also a great card, just gets, lets you draw three more cards. Then you get Professor Juniper, and there's a pair of those as well. Um, lets you discard your card, no, excuse me, discard your hand and draw seven cards. Wonderful, wonderful staple, um, and I'm kind of happy they printed it with this artwork because I really like that Professor Juniper. You also get N, um, and there is a pair of those as well. Also another staple in every deck, just about. Um, shuffle your hand, draw equal to remaining prize cards, and both you and your opponent have to do that. 
you get one tool scraper, which is kind of interesting and it's probably all you're going to need. Um, it's more so when you're going against um, decks that are using tools. Um, and you choose up to two Pokemon tools attached to any Pokemon in play, both either yours or your opponent's, and you just uh, discard them. And to help you get that tool scraper, you get a pair of Skylas, which is wonderful because this is a very hard card to get a hold of. Um, everybody wants this one in their deck, and in reverse looks just even better, so it's kind of cool that you get two of these, but I'm sure it'll drive down the value. Anyway, uh, Skyla lets you look for any trainer card and put in your deck, uh, put in your hand from your deck. Get two switches. Always useful to get out your active Pokemon and back to the bench. Two energy retrievals. Um, I usually don't play with energy retrievals. I see where they can be useful, but the, these would be cards that you can replace with a different trainer. This is kind of cool. You get two reverse Pokemon catchers. That is super awesome. Um, they just look really, really awesome, and they are just really awesome in just about every deck. So great to have those. This is very neat. Um, these have been some very nice cards that were released in the Plasma Blast set. Um, first one being Silver Bangle. Um, you, the attacks of the Pokemon you attach this card to do 30 more damage to the active Pokemon EX. So you have to be playing a non-EX card and facing an EX in order to get the additional bonus, but so many people play EXs these days that this is a wonderful tool to have. And the other what nice tool here is a reverse here, Silver Mirror. And it if you, when you attach it to your Pokemon, it prevents all effects of attacks, including damage, done to that Pokemon if the attacker is a Pokemon, um, is a Team Plasma Pokemon, excuse me, which is another um, huge deck that are being built right now with Deoxys. Um, so that's pretty cool. Way to avoid damage. Uh, you get two Ultra Balls, which also looks stunning in reverse, um, and help you search out your Pokemon. So now, as to the Pokemon that come in the deck itself. So this is another copy of the promo number 99. And this is the first time I can think of, and maybe somebody else remembers another time, but first time I can think of where you get two of the same promo inside a one set for whatever reason. Usually they just put the promo card in the front and you can see it, and then you have to add it to the deck. Um, but in this case, you get one in the deck and an extra one, and I think you're supposed to play with both of these because the deck list actually has two Genesect on it, so the first, the front one, they're just showing it off and you just add it to your deck. So don't if you are going to play with this, don't forget to add that promo in the front into your deck, otherwise you don't have 60 cards. Two Tropius, um, very, very useful card with um, just one energy, uh, one grass energy you can do return, which will do 10 damage, and let you draw cards until you have six cards in your hand. So great starting Pokemon while you're still trying to get set up, 100 damage, he'll let you stall for a little while. Then you have, looks like, three Solosis. Um, they don't really do much, but they let you evolve into Duosion. And you get two of those, and that eventually lets you evolve into Reuniclus. And I'm sorry if I didn't pause there long enough. Um, I really, really like this Reuniclus, and I'm glad to see it being used in a deck. Um, for his first attack with just one Psychic, you do 30 damage, and during your opponent's next turn, damage done to this Pokemon is reduced by 30. But what's even more interesting is the Telekinesis of Nobility. Uh, for a Psychic and two of any kind of energy, you do 70 damage, and you switch your Uniclus with one of your bench Pokémon. So, later on in the game, if you still have Tropius down on your bench and you don't really need him anymore, or maybe you do need him and you want to use that return attack to get some cards in your hand, you can use Reuniclus Telekinesis of Nobility, switch him out to the Tropius, and then um, use Return. Or you can just switch out a Reuniclus that has a ton of damage on it for something else on the bench that you've been powering up that doesn't have a lot of damage. So, very cool card. I'm glad to see it in a deck. You also get a Golette, which he's pretty powerful. 80 damage for a basic Pokemon. Um, two different attacks is pretty nice, actually, in a theme deck Pokemon. Uh, three Golettes. Oh, actually, four of them. Excuse me. And Golette evolves into Golurk. And you get two of these, actually. Pretty neat for just two of any kind of energy. Um, it does 60 damage as long as you're not playing with any Team Plasma Pokemon. So in this deck, there are no Team Plasma Pokemon, so this works out really, really well. For just two damage, uh, two of any energy, excuse me, you get to do 60 damage. He has 130 HP, so he's going to stay alive for quite a while. And in the end, you can build up to Shadow Punch to do 80 damage, um, and that attack is not affected by any resistance. Which is kind of cool, takes a lot of energy. I probably wouldn't go for the second attack, instead I'd be powering up another Pokemon to get him ready, but that 60 damage is pretty nice. Kangaskhan. And there's three of those. This is a huge, huge...
evolving. Um, very, very useful attack to have. And actually his Comet Punch is really not that bad for a starting type Pokemon. He's at 100 HP for basic, and for his Comet Punch, just two of any energy gets you the ability to flip four coins. For every heads you get, you do 20 damage. So you can do from zero to 80 damage with just two colorless. Um, and that being said, for this is really the card you want to start with, either Kangaskhan or Tropius. Um, I would go on the side of Kangaskhan if I could, um, but obviously you can't really control where you start. But if I had Kangaskhan and Tropius in my de uh, my ha opening hand, probably start with Kangaskhan unless I already had all the basic Pokemon I needed in my hand. These are kind of odd and awkward in here. There's two Porygon and two Porygon 2s. I think you can easily um, switch these guys out. Um, Porygon only has 60 HP and his tackle only does 10 damage, and Porygon 2 has only 80 HP. And for two colorless, you um, do 30 damage and flip a coin and discard an energy. Nothing really exciting here. Uh, these would be the first cards I'd take out of this deck and add something different in. Um, perhaps a little bit more Genesect, maybe a, a couple more Reuniclus if you can find them. That way you're not just hoping to get the one that's in this deck. Um, I think that would be a smart way to go. Or maybe if you have some EXs that could go well with this, like Verizion EX or Genesect EX, that's where it go. So, hope I haven't bored you to death with all my talking, but um, I've gotten some feedback that people wanted to have a little bit more of an analysis on the theme decks, so I hope this helped. And I'm really in favor of this kind of theme deck. Um, I think it's cool that they're all shiny, and I think it's really cool that it's actually a really decent deck to play. So I'm very excited for that. But, for everybody else that wants to just see some openings, um, here's two packs. I'm going to do Plasma Storm first. Here's the Magnemite, Clefairy, Lotad, Purloin, Vanillite, Plasma Frigate, Heatmore, Golbat. Nice, a Reverse Magnezone, a very good card too. This ability lets you um, use two supporters in turn. And beautiful, a Hollow Manaphy. And a Plasma Glass Pack. Here's Shelmet, Golet, Machop, Thoreau, Kangaskhan, Reversal Trigger, Archon, Laron, the reverse is a throw, and also another hollow, hollow Archaeops. Very, very cool. So, hope you guys enjoyed this um, opening slash discussion about the Genesect or the Red Genesect collection and theme deck. Um, I hope you guys subscribe and stay tuned for more videos to come for you soon. See you then!